This man scammed people into buying the Eiffel Tower twice. So this is Victor Lustig, a man who puts the artist in con artist, and in 1925 he set his sights on his biggest scam yet, all 330 meters of it. Yep, he was gonna sell the Eiffel Tower. Now, back in the early 20th century, the Eiffel Tower was starting to show its age, and people were predicting that soon there would be calls for its removal. Hearing this, Lustig posed as a French minister, inviting several scrap dealers to a confidential meeting where he claimed that their government was planning to sell the tower for scrap. Why confidential? Well, to avoid the public outcry over the tower's removal, of course. Here, Lustig found his victim in a dealer trying to establish himself in Paris's business elite. So he sold him the rights, pocketing some extra bright money as a nice little bonus and fled to Austria. Now, Lustig was banking on the victim not reporting the whole thing out of embarrassment, and incredibly this worked. To be fair, I've been pretty embarrassed by some impulse buys, but then again, I've never accidentally bought the Eiffel Tower. So, all in all, brilliant con. Shame you can't do it again, though. Yeah, so we did it again. However, this time the victim actually reported it to the police, so Lustig had to flee to the States. And still, 50% hit rate, not too bad. And now you know how.